This mountain definitely kicked my butt. My first time and my last time. Yeah, first and last. I'm good. What's up, guys? Literally just did my outro of the Cuma Tape video two seconds ago. Today's a new day. We're in Cusco. We're going to be doing little tours. Not too crazy because tomorrow we have Rainbow Mountain and uh, it's going to be a longer hike. But uh, today we're going to be visiting some, uh, some, a couple sites um, around Cusco like Sex a Woman. Uh, it's a couple that I, I just, I can't think of it right now. But you guys are going to see it as we go. So um, I have to get ready. The bus will arrive about five minutes. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> by the Incas. This is where they do their annual festivals over here. What's up guys? It's your boy. We're back in the hotel. It's currently 8 p.m. right now. Um, Thinking about resting early because tomorrow we have another big day of hiking. Um, but basically today we visited a bunch of Inca sites, which was pretty awesome. We visited about maybe five or six of them, and uh, some of them I couldn't record, so that's why you can only see a few. But we also went to a factory shop that um, that shows you like how you can tell what material sweater or shirt, whatever, is alpaca or baby alpaca, which is more expensive here and it's a lot softer. So. Um, apaca, baby apaca, and then just the cheap quality. So they taught us how to determine which one's which, which was pretty cool. But uh, other than that, we just walked around town, ate some food, and uh, yeah, now we're back. So I'm gonna go get some rest, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. So guys, it's your boy Angel, and we're actually heading out right now, but we're going to Rainbow Mountain. It's gonna be another long day of hike, so let's get it. Ah. No, no, no. That was by far the sketchiest ride I've ever been in. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, during the ride, we actually were heading upwards. We were actually turning on a curve, and we see a shuttle from the opposite side heading our direction. And it's only a one lane road, so our driver had to reverse on the curve and pull on the side just for the other vehicle to fit through. So that was very interesting, very sketchy. But, hey, I mean, that's part of the story, you know, that's part of the journey, and that uh, was totally worth it. Pretty sketchy, though. Pretty sketchy. Moments before this hike started, we got stopped by a fence that was blocking the road, so we got off the vehicle, we found one of the fences that were down, so we just stepped over it, and we thought our journey began right there. But uh, not too long afterwards, we get stopped by an elderly woman who was telling us that she owns this land, and that we could not take this path to get to Rainbow Mountain. But instead of kicking us out, she showed us another route. So we ended up turning around and started our journey once again. Oh, hey. Hey. We're finally at Rainbow Mountain. We just started our hiking. Uh, so the beginning of the trail starts at 4,652 meters already at just the start. And uh, it's a little bit more windier, more frío, more cold than the Human Day Trail. But it's beautiful, surrounded by mountains. I see, I see. But, uh, yep, just the beginning. You can tell there's, it's hard to breathe up here. Low, low oxygen. But it's good. We're doing good. This weather reminds me of Georgia because it's so bipolar. <laughs> it's warm down there. As you get up here, it gets colder. It gets a little warmer. Then it gets very cold at the top. So it's very, very bipolar up here. But we're almost there. We can see people. That is actually the Rainbow Mountain. So we're almost there. We found out as well that the trail we're taking is like a brand new trail. Because with COVID, everything's been messed up, so they're trying to keep the land fresh and clean and 
uh, not all ruin and stuff. Uh, so we are on a new trail that not many people get to go to. So it's supposed to be the cooler one. I don't know if it's easier or not, but uh, the people up there travel from the other side of the mountain up there. So I, I don't know what's easier or not. But And we saw a bunch of apacas running all over the place. I also see, I also saw an apaca, a dead one, while they were like inside the apaca. Like I guess they were trying to get the meat outside of it. I don't know. We were driving past it and we just saw the, I just saw the whole inside of it. So that's the first time. Pretty gnarly. Bia Miguel? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. We uh, we saw this a glacier over here, but Miguel just spotted it. <laughs> this whole mountain covered in white snow. It's it's not even a single spot of the mountain you see. It's just covered. It's pretty cool. We're at Ringo Mountain. We're almost to the top. <sighs> Oxygen up here is very low. It's hard to breathe. And I believe we're about over 17,000 feet above. Oh, you definitely feel it. Oh, we're almost there, right, Miguel? Yes. <laughs> we finally made it to the NF. We finally made it back to the bus after Rainbow Mountain. And I gotta say, this was one of the hardest experiences ever. My oxygen was way off. Holy cow. My oxygen was so off. Miguel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay? Yeah, this mountain definitely kicked my butt. My first time and my last time. No more. Yeah, first and last. I'm good. <laughs> I agree. First and last time here at Rainbow Mountain. Very beautiful. I wasn't going to go to the very top. There's like a middle section where everybody stops and then there's another section up there. And I, I stopped halfway. But with some encourage, encouragement with some people made it to the top and I got some pictures with me and some llamas which you'll see right now and uh, yeah the view is beautiful super beautiful being surrounded by the mountains and stuff like I said it's a one-time thing so I won't do that again but I think it's above <laughs> 17,000 feet or more I'll double check and correct that when I make the video but yeah I'm just gonna put the camera down and catch my breath because I'm dying out here.